There are several ways to look at soil moisture and try to make an approximation of how the crop is doing and how much water is available to the soil. One of the ways of looking at it is to look out across the crop and see if it's starting to wilt or change color and then you'll know that the water is deficient. But the problem with doing that is that the crop has already started to suffer as soon as it's wilting or changing color. So it's better to look at the soil. Now one of the things that uh, you could do is just look at the soil surface and see if it's, if it's wet or if it's dry. If it's dry, you know that the surface is dry, but you don't know anything about how much deeper uh, the water is or where, uh, where the water might be, how much is available to the crop. So NRCS has developed a system they call soil moisture by feel and appearance, and it requires the use of an auger. Uh, you could use a shovel, uh, but a so shovel is only going to go about eight inches deep, and the soil Root, the roots go down to the soil a lot deeper than eight inches, so it's better to have a, an auger that can go down a ways so you can get an idea of, of how the soil is down through the profile. So uh, to use this method, you auger a hole you can see that this has gone down about the depth of that bucket so if we looked at the bottom part of that, that's about eight inches down. Uh, this soil then, at eight inches, looks about like that. Now this is a medium to fine textured soil. It will form a ball easily if you if you see the wheel line. Uh, they just shut it off a couple days ago, so it's very close to field capacity. At field capacity, a fine textured soil may be able to see some of the water shining on the edges of the surface of the soil uh, uh, when, you, when you tap it. Uh, this isn't quite there. You didn't see free water there, so it isn't quite up to field capacity and you can see that the moisture has come off on my hand so this would be maybe 80 percent of field capacity. A little further out in the field uh, it's been more days since the wheel line was here and so we'd expect it to be drier. So when we looked at the soil here if you can see uh, coming out of the auger it didn't form a ball at all. Uh, it, it's staying in a granular form and if we squeeze it the the ball isn't as strong it isn't held together so, as closely by the water uh, you can still feel a little bit of moisture and you can see a few sand grains sticking to my hand but this has got uh, much less water available in it this soil is about 50 percent of field capacity this, this is a good spot. I've gone further away from the wheel line, so it's been maybe five or six days since the water has been on this ground right here, and you can see that it's drier still. It, it's crumbly. Again, we can just barely get it to form a ball. It certainly won't ribbon. And you can feel uh, that's why they call it soil moisture by feel. You can feel that there's just less moisture there. And this soil would be around 40 percent of field capacity. One of the advantages of soil moisture by feel is that you can go to different parts of the field and see how each part of the field is doing. Uh, when you've got sensors and they cost a little bit of money you may be only looking at one or two places in the field. So the advantage uh, with soil moisture by feel is its portability and if you've got soils that are a little different over there, if you feel like your irrigation system is operating a little bit differently over there, you can go check on it and look at it, see just how things are. 
Um, uh, the important thing about uh, soil moisture by feel is you can look at the top, uh, say eight inches down or so, uh, that's uh, representative, but also you can look as deep as you want, as uh, deep as your auger will go. And we'll take a look at, uh, see how this soil is down deep. It's a little bit of work to get a little bit, to get all the way down. But sometimes the information when you're down deep in the soil profile is pretty important. If you can see here, we would expect the soil down deep to be loaded with moisture. And what we're seeing is soil that's very, very dry. Uh, what that's in indicating is that when they've uh, applied water with the sprinkler, they haven't soaked it down deep enough, and so the roots are, are taking more water than uh, the sprinkler is putting down, and we're getting a dry situation. The crop might be stressed between irrigations with this kind of a problem. So that's one of the advantages of soil moisture by field. You can get down deep, you can get in different parts of the field, and see what the problems really are. But it's a little more work.